thumbnail. <laughs> All right, so guys, this book is great. Not because it's Michelle Obama, but I think it's the warmth, the humanity, and the true story based on real life people um, are what make this book uh, very awesome and even fun to read. Um, so I wouldn't go too deep into this book because uh, checking it out yourself and feeling this book for yourself uh, is incomparable to a book review. Um, but I would like to, you know, talk about a few things that this book made me think more about and, you know, even touched me. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is misogyny and racism. As sensitive as these, you know, topics are, um, Michelle was a black first lady, so she had a lot to share about, you know, the misogyny and racism that she had experienced, um, both directly and inadvertently. Um, so, you know, there's a part where I found would be relatable to a lot of women out there and that's the part where she says you know what she wears and how she puts on her makeup and how her arms look and how she doesn't smile and look angry mattered to the media and some people more than what she what she was saying and the message that she was trying to deliver and there's a part where she says you know no one seemed to criticize Barack for appearing too serious or not or not smiling enough so oh, that's the part where she, where she thinks those kind of double standard doesn't like quite make sense and there's also a part where she talks about Hillary Clinton um, Hillary was Barack's opponent which meant that I wasn't inclined to feel especially warmly toward her just then but I couldn't help but ad admire her ability to stand up and keep fighting amid the misogyny and uh, she's not like criticizing or complaining because it's something that she, you know, stayed humble and strong enough to successfully manage through. But it, it does bring awareness on some of the things that we need to improve on, you know, some of the misogynistic views and double standard that we place on women, sometimes without noticing. And, you know, as a first lady, she experienced it more broadly and in a more subtly obvious ways. And she was also black, which was kind of a big deal because they are the first um, black first family to have entered um, the White House in the entire history of the United States of America. Um, so, so, you know, Michelle shares how their race was sometimes used against them and how that gave them kind of a hard time and even hurtful because sometimes it came from the same black community. And the second one I want to talk about is family love. So, you know, the way Michelle and Barack Obama managed to build their family community and raise their daughters even in the midst of their busy career, you know, is simply fascinating. And family seems to have always been their priority, not like in a way of keeping up with formality, but out of genuine care. Um, you know, and the affection and love that, you know, she has for uh, her two daughters is just priceless. Um, so we normally think that it's such a privilege to be a daughter of of a president of the United States um, but I liked how Michelle acknowledges that you know there are you know unfair elements in uh, the pressure and attention uh, that are not asked for that comes from being a first daughter before putting on a pedestal and you know like demanding them to obey and you know you know act in a certain way like act like first daughter they never say that to their daughters and they know how that how unfair that is and that kind of wise and thoughtful parenting can only come uh from like deep genuine love and you know like real care and look how malaya obama has you know grown up to be you know she is such a smart cool and beautiful young lady and so is Sasha Obama um so you know uh and the parts where she talks about you know her daughters are what cracked the most tears out of my eyes um although there was nothing like dramatic about it um 
it's something that touched me because it felt so real and so genuine and you know i found barack and michelle's love story very interesting um it's the part where i found the most fun to read and that's where the part that i started to like really engage uh in reading and really forget that i'm reading because it was so interesting but um the mother the mother daughter love was what touched me the most what personally touched me the most yes um and the last thing I want to talk about is a value-driven life, which is precisely what Barack and Michelle Obama managed to live all throughout their life, uh, even before they met. Um, and so amazing that two people, perfect for each other, have met and created a family, political business, and even the larger value for the larger community. And it's like they were born to be together and born to be the president and the first lady of the United States. Like, you know, they're perfect fit for their job. And I know that some of you might not politically agree with um, Obama administration um, because, come on, we're talking about politics here, you know, but um, their partnership, hope love and you know like real care for their 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 people their american people and the world They're, it's simply incredible and and i think they are the main contributor to their successful term i mean they're the most one of the most beloved um first families in the in the history of the united states of america um, and there's nothing strange about it and it's amazing how they endured great hardship together uh, so presidency is no joke. It's nothing like the meme that we see on on like online or you know, it's it's like so much more is happening beneath what we can see when it comes to presidency uh, because it's it's a it's a lot of work and it's you know, it's a huge responsibility um, and the struggle pressure and anxiety that come from it is real as real as our own personal problems and emotions um and they were able to do that because you know all of them because they all quite successfully managed to stick to their value no matter what happened um whether it's in family affair political affairs or you know other personal affairs and i think i personally think that michelle is such a blessed woman and i'm not just saying this i really truly mean it from the bottom of my heart you know, she has everything a woman can ask for and I couldn't help but, you know, feel jealous of her and in a, in definitely in a good way uh, because she lived a life, you know, that might not be an easy life but definitely a life filled with so much love, not just for herself but for her family, you know, for uh, others surrounding her, her tribe and you know the whole humanity and um, so if you would like to you know be empowered to be a strong person be inspired to be a good person and you know just overall feel the worth uh, inside your heart uh, please go read this book Michelle Obama be becoming Michelle Obama and learn how Michelle became such uh, incredible such an incredible woman uh, and earlier today I posted a dance video, but I ended up taking it down uh, because to be honest, I haven't practiced it that much and while I was editing the video, I was like, do I really want to post it? Um, you know, so I just ended up taking it down, um, but I posted another video on my Instagram, another version of that same dance on my Instagram, so um, I'll just leave it there, but um, yeah. And I'm sorry if this felt kind of too all over the place, um, but I really wanted, you know, you guys to check out Becoming because it really is a good book. And I'll stop here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.